Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. We are going shopping. I have a couple places to go today, along with our normal Aldi and Walmart grocery trips. I also need to stop by Target, which is where I'm at right now. It's 9.07, so we're still pretty early this morning. There's actually like nobody here, which is really awesome. I love when stores are really quiet and not a lot of people in them. It's a little bit less awkward with me holding my phone out in front of me and talking to it. The goal at Target is to pick up a couple items for a sponsored video. The brand that I'm working with already sent me a couple items to use in it, but I'm going to do a snackle box that is going to be like going to an apple orchard themed or pumpkin patch. I haven't decided yet. So I need a couple more snacky foods to put in the snackle box. And so we're going to get those here at Target because they have cute fall stuff. And then we're going to hop over to Aldi and get groceries, go to Walmart and get groceries, and we're going to be done. So let's go ahead into Target and I'll show you what I get. There are a lot of people here in purple today, so I think there must be a JMU football game today because it is Saturday and football season. So good luck, Dukes. I think I'm going to have the most luck back here in this seasonal section. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I'm going for. They ask that I not include gummy kind of candies in this, but chocolate is okay. And that's because the gummy could kind of conflict with some of their other products. I want to get these as my chocolatey kind of thing, but they kind of have branding on them. I'm not sure if that would be allowed. I'm just going to play it safe and skip and get something else. Okay, I think if I take this out of the packaging that it comes in, it won't have any branding on it and it should be fine. These are smaller, so I'm going to go with these ones. Got what I needed to get from Target and now we're gonna pop over to Aldi. Okay, we're at Aldi now. Let me tell you a little bit about my list and meal plan. We are switching up our meals quite a bit this week. I honestly am really bored of what we've been eating for dinner because we kind of eat the same things on repeat and I'm kind of over it. I also feel like generally speaking, we don't eat the healthiest even though you know we've been doing keto. We eat more processed food I guess than I would like and the dinners that we eat are like really high fat they're not just like low carb they're like high fat and so they just don't make me feel the greatest so I switched up a lot of our dinners this week and I'm going to tell you what we're making and all of these are going to be like low carb because we're still doing that I just don't want to eat the same things anymore so we're going to do a taco soup maybe in the crock pot we're going to do burgers on keto buns with zucchini fries buffalo chicken stuffed peppers grilled chicken and grilled shrimp i don't know what side we're gonna do with that probably cauliflower rice greek bowls especially if i can find a lamb leg today because we love that or maybe they'll have ground lamb one or the other and we're gonna do a spaghetti squash dish kind of like spaghetti but in spaghetti squash. I'm hoping that our list this week will be a little bit less expensive as well. I was intentional when I made it to try to make it a little bit less expensive and use some things that we have at home. Okay, let's go inside Aldi and get this shopping trip going. It's crazy how terrible the weather was yesterday because we got like hurricane weather-ish up in Virginia. And then today it's like literally beautiful outside, blue skies, clear skies, crazy. They have some yummy looking cauliflower crust pizzas, but they're actually not very low carb, keto friendly. Yeah, there's still 30 grams of carbs minus the fiber. They don't have any zucchini, which really surprises me. I don't know if it's because it's getting cooler outside because it's like out of season, but they usually do. I'll have to get that from Walmart then. These pillows are always so cute every year. It's cute little Halloween pillows, but we're just not pillow people. Like decorative pillows, I just feel like they get in the way. I don't know if these are actually like not as good as Liquid IV, but they're both electrolyte drink mixes. So I've been getting these lately. They are way, way, way cheaper than Liquid IV. These are $2 a box for 10 sticks, a much better deal. Eggs are still 361 per dozen. That's crazy. A couple of you that are also from Virginia told me that you got eggs for way cheaper where you're at like last week. I don't know why it's so expensive where I'm at if it's cheaper where you're at and we're all in the same state. But I don't trust that Walmart would have these cheaper. I think all these still will have the best price. So I'm just gonna get them here.
It is so satisfying how it straightens my lines for me. I love that feature. You may have seen me cross off last week and my lines were terrible. When it comes to pen and paper, can't get them straight to save my life. I'm so excited they still have butterfly lamb leg and this one is a little bit bigger, so it will definitely be plenty. I don't have this on my list, but I'm actually on my own for dinner tonight. And since my fiance does not really like fish, I'm gonna seize the opportunity and get some salmon for myself. A few of these are 30% off because it's a couple days before their expire date. So Norwegian Atlantic or Coho. I'm gonna go with this one. Here's an update of the list. We have finished at Aldi. Everything else will be from Walmart. Our meals are obviously all like meat based, especially doing low carb. So I always get a lot of meat, which I think is what makes things so expensive. But nevertheless, take a second, make a guess for how much you think it's gonna be. I believe in Aldi. I think it's still gonna be under a hundred bucks, even though I did get all that meat. Let's go see. I was not a good guesser. We're over a hundred. Okay, I was able to at least get everything that I was hoping to get, except the zucchini, but that's fine. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that high of a price, but that's okay. Let's see what we end up with at Walmart. Okay, I just got to Walmart, so let's get this finished. The most expensive thing here is definitely going to be the sodas, but I really did try to cut back on the keto snacks this week because those really add up fast. Let's see if they have everything and what the total ends up being. Drinks take up the most space in my cart, so I'm gonna go ahead and get them first so that they're in the back. It does make my cart heavy, but it's worth it for the aesthetic of a nice, pretty cart at the end. Looks like they still don't have the purple kind, and they also don't have the yellow either, so it's between pink or blue. Okay, just for reference, the hydration packets that I got from Aldi had eight sticks and were $2. Liquid IV has six sticks and is $9. I don't know if there's more powder per stick, like if that impacts it, but these are more than four times as much. That's crazy. They used to have peach in these little six packs and I don't know why they don't anymore. I like the strawberry, but I miss the peach. They don't have any of the red, white, and blue prime. I don't know what's going on. I guess they just haven't restocked since I was here last on the drink section. So we'll get one of the other flavors, but Martine is not gonna be happy because these ones have more carbs. They have four carbs versus the red, white, and blue ones have two, I believe. Somebody walked into the aisle to look at the energy drinks, so I'm just gonna stand here and pretend that I'm looking at the seltzer water while they pick out what they want and leave so that I don't get in anybody's way. Okay, I'm just gonna go back to the aisle in a minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and get sodas and then we'll go back. Gonna try the off-brand Diet Coke this week and see if that is a suitable replacement because it's much cheaper. Yay, the aisle is empty now. Okay, back to this. Since they don't have the ice pop flavor, I'm just gonna get the 12 pack. Last drink is tea. Had to take a quick bathroom break, but now we're back at it. I feel like an idiot because I can't remember what moisturizer I use. Yeah, I think I see it. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's this one. But being over here made me remember that I wanted to try this face mask. I'm gonna get two because I'm gonna try one to make sure it doesn't irritate my skin and then I'm gonna have one for my wedding night. Well, the night before my wedding. My automatic soap dispenser that I got from Aldi like a year ago is dead. It's broken. So we need to replace it with something and I am thinking I wanna try to find a fall scent. This one definitely looks fall-ish. I'm sure this is against the rules, but I'm gonna break it open and smell it. Hmm. It actually smells really good. A 100 pack is gonna last me a very long time. Last thing in this section of the store is dog treats. Definitely am gonna get one of these because they have really good ingredients. She really loves the duck jerky, but I think we'll get the smaller one. I think the sweet potato and chicken one is new. They have sweet potato and duck. Okay, we're gonna get this one. I did not know that Newman's own had dog treats. I think they're new. Oh, well duh, it says new. And it definitely has more ingredients than the duck jerky, but really the ingredients are not bad at all. This is the only keto treat we're gonna get this week. My fiance especially is really loving this seasoning right now on pretty much anything. 
especially chicken wings, but we don't have that on the menu this week, but he will want to put this on basically everything else. This sauce is expensive, but it is so good, especially the spicy vodka. When I'm not trying to be money conscious, I'm definitely going to get this stuff. But today I'm going to get Classico because it is way cheaper and still pretty good. Rice cauliflower at Aldi, and it was cheaper than this. I think it was like a dollar seventy nine or something. So I think I might try it next time from Aldi. Last on my list are those real good chicken nuggets. Okay, now's your opportunity to guess how much do you think it's gonna cost? I'm gonna go for like one hundred twenty five, and we completed the whole list. A little bit frustrated that was still hundred and ninety dollars and I feel like I tried to do better today I don't know what is wrong with me I guess I should just know that between like prices going up so much plus like getting all of our pet and home and personal and food items in one go that it's just gonna be more expensive but I really fooled myself into thinking it was gonna be around 200 today so I'm a little bummed but that's okay but I gotta figure something out because it's certainly not sustainable to be spending this much every single week forever with that said, we are finished with our errands for the day. Thanks for coming along with me today. I had a great time bringing you along and I will see you in the next one. Bye.